Hello everyone, welcome to Software Testing with Jamil and today's topic is configure Selenium and, and run our first test. First we will download uh, Selenium jars and then download the Chrome driver, uh, configure our uh, Selenium uh, jars within uh, uh, Eclipse and then after that uh, create a, a quick test in Google Chrome. Uh, to uh, uh, just to test our uh, uh, our jaws and uh, uh, driver, so let's get cracking. Yeah, if you go to search, if you go on to the one the search engine and type in Selenium and uh, Selenium download, that should bring uh, that should bring up the Selenium download. And so if you go to the uh, link, which is www.selenium.dev slash download. So if you click on that, so that brings you to the Selenium download page. So it has various, it has various options. It has various options there. What we need to be doing is, if you go down, down the page, and we're looking to download a Selenium client and web driver uh, based on our languages. So. We have a. I'm, I'll be testing mine using Java, so I'm going to download the Java version. Uh, so we've got the here Java download. So if you click on download, and that should start downloading. Yeah, once it's downloaded, it will dis. Once it's downloaded, it will display in a, a zip folder in download. So what we need to do is extract that. So if you right and click extract all uh, I would personally uh, put that into uh, my with my all my old other automation stuff is which is documents and automation under that folder so then do extract Extracted now, and there it is. Uh, so we have the uh, jar files. So we got the two jar files in here. Uh, client combined, and then we have some more uh, jar files within here. Now, what we do is go back to a uh, Selenium website where we downloaded our jars from. So if you go down the page. Uh, you should see a browser option here browsers and if you expand that browsers and look for chrome so you got firefox internet explorer safari opera but we are interested in uh, downloading a chrome driver so if you click on documentation that should bring you to the a Chrome driver page uh, and it's got the old versions available in download so you got the latest stable version is 81 and the previous, previous one 80 and if you click on downloads it should give you all the uh, releases available I think it goes previous down to 10 versions if I'm not wrong so it keeps going if you have a look all the way down uh, it does go down to version 68, 67, so we're in 80, so it's quite a lot. So we need to check our version of our Chrome. Um, so if you uh, click on the right hand side on the top, there's three dots. Uh, so all, uh, click on that, that should give us a help main option menu there. And then if you click on help and then click on about Google Chrome and I should bring out the whole uh, help page about the Chrome and right at the top it says the version and we're on version 81 so if you go back to our downloads version 81 is the latest uh, stable uh, stable uh, Chrome driver so if you click on that and then it gives you an option here Linux uh, Mac and Windows, and as long as you download the Windows one, it doesn't matter whether it's 
whether it's 60 uh, 64 bit or, or 32 so uh, just click on chrome driver win 32 zip folder and it should start downloading and within few seconds the download will be completed so there it is our downloaded version of chrome so what we're gonna do we're gonna extract that to the same folder my automation folder so if we do extract all and then we do documents automation and extract yeah so there you go that's our chrome 32 driver there now so the next thing we need to do is uh, create a project in uh, eclipse that's what we create now we're going to create our uh, first project uh, for selenium so uh, if you open up the eclipse uh, that's why i'll be using eclipse ide and if you need to know how to install uh, uh, eclipse uh, you, uh, I'll put in a link in the description where I've done a, previously done a video on how to uh, download uh, download and install Eclipse. So let's start by creating our project first. So if you go to File, then New, and Java Project. So what I'm going to call this is a Selenium Project. So if you type in Selenium project and then click on next. Okay, so under the source tab, tell you the Selenium project and it's created a source folder for us as well. So uh, uh, for now we just click on finish and then it comes up with the module info so uh, for module we're just gonna leave it as uh, currently what it has module name selenium project so click on create and now that has created our project so the next thing we need to do is create a package for that where we're going to put our class so what we do is click on source folder and then click on right and click on it and then click on new and then package let's give it a name com dot demo dot basic um, that so that has created our demo package and now we right and click on that to create our class and we do a class and then let's name it demo and then leave it as a public and we'll do a public uh, actually create a main method as well to run the classroom and let's generate some comments as well so now that has created our uh, basic demo file uh, java class sorry and now uh, we can start the first thing we need to do is to our project add the uh, jars we downloaded so if you click on the uh, project and then right and click and then go to properties and then within property go to we got the java build path here and then you have a tab called libraries if you go to the libraries tab and then if you click on module path and because these jars have been uh, downloaded from external 
you're gonna add the external jaws right so if you go back here <clears throat> so we need to add all of them so the jaws under selenium main folder which are the client combined ones so we add them first I add it now and then we click on module path again add external jaws again go to labs and then add these So now we added all our jars, apply that and apply and close. Once once added, you should be able to see these under Selenium project. So if you go down to reference libraries, expand that, and here we have all our uh, jars that we added for Selenium. Now that we have all the Selenium settings ready, let's start our first test so let's start with setting our system properties uh, so system dot set properties and so the first part will be the app uh, so what are we what property are we setting so we're setting a web driver property the key is the web driver so that's our web driver so let's start with what uh, web driver and then what web driver is it so it's a chrome driver and then what we need to do is get the location of the web driver so this is our web driver so as you saw earlier it was under chrome so that's our location and what is it called it's called chrome driver so that's chrome driver dot exe And it will need double backslashes. So we set our Chrome driver there. And uh, what would be next? So we need to, um, in order for it to run, we need to first define the variable. So we'll do. Uh, so we do that by calling a web driver, and then let's give it a name driver and then new and what we need is a chrome driver because that's what we're running we got all the I mean you could have mozilla uh, firefox ie so we're running it in uh, chrome if i can spell the web driver the web driver needs to be in capital yeah oh what am i missing web of oh, web driver yeah that is right so let's import it uh, uh, yeah so we imported it and then chrome driver again we need to import it so that's been imported now and then do a driver what we'll do we'll just go get the go to uh, we'll just go get uh, go to Google and a simple test we'll just get for example let's see google.com so you need to do google.com and what we need to be able to do and uh, get the driver title so get title spelling I will dot get title that should get us a title but 
And what we also need to do is print our title. So we know we got the title. So what we'll do, we'll do a system dot out dot print line. And then we'll just copy that and paste in there. I should get that and then what we'll do is once we've done that we want to be able to uh, put standing code let's close that and save that and uh, let's see what else gives me now i've already had that okay we have that and Next the project. So he's looking for a key and a class mat. Yep, so now we look for in a class path, so it looks solid, so that should also be in here. Requires, yep. And now, if you run, so if you go here on the uh, menu, and there's a but run button there, so run demo. And that is running, it's running it now. Comes up, opens Google, Chrome. Yeah, that's open now, and it closes it, and it's printed the title there. Yeah, that's that. That's our tutorial now. That's it. And it's nice and simple. You know, download the jars for Selenium and Chrome uh, driver, configure the jars, uh, and then run a simple test. Yeah, just to recap, the uh, Use the Chrome driver to uh, create a simple test of going and getting a, a Google, uh, google.com, uh, loading up the page, and then uh, getting the title of that, printing it to our console, and then closing the driver. So uh, overall recap is that we downloaded and con configured Selenium, downloaded the Chrome driver, created it. A, a test to run in Google Chrome and then uh, that's it for now uh, so thank you for joining me today uh, don't forget to like this video subscribe to the channel and I will put in our regular videos as usual every few days so and uh, do hit the bell button to so you, you don't miss out on any of the videos